wa Kenya wote ambao malizidi kuombea mke wangu uh, we really appreciate and those of you who have been communicating messages of encouragement i have a lot i've learned a lot on during this time kwa hivyo um thank you kenyans for the wonderful prayerful support um dugraila alifika hata tuliingia tu mimi kwa sababu mambo ya familia hutaki kuchanganya sikuambia mtu yeyote kwamba naja nyumbani <laughs> lakini sasa nitawaambua nilimwambia usimwambie mtu mimi nakuja wewe sema alamisi tuombeane Mungu atujalie na nakuja so we are grateful lakini leo naona tu kwa newspapers oh they are waiting the country is waiting for what he is going to say Kenyans are you there mko pale nizungumze ama nisizungumze kwanza nitatoa imewani sasa tumeniangalia vizuri kwanza kabisa santeni wa Kenya mlijitokeza Kitui County Mama Charity na waliokuwa mnagombea viti pamoja wakampigia Charity Governor na wale wenzake lakini zile nyingi zaidi wengine akampigia Senator Kiyo na waheshimiwa akapigiwa wengi uh, lakini zile Raila na Kalonzo walipigiwa zilikuwa nyingi zaidi mwili jitokeza and i want to agree you with you charity we really need if we are looking ahead to plan every step the easiest way to disempower and to disenfranchise a kenyan is to deny them the national id anza pale mheshimiwa ngilu mheshimiwa kivudha kibwana and the other governors who are like minded make sure that every kenyan youth ambaye anatoka county hizi akifika miaka 18 apatiwe id kama apatiwe kuwa na sababu na hakuna sababu yoyote and after that now you can apply those sanctions <laughs> ukitaka kusalimia charity lazima uende kwake na muonyeshe id kama na kura kama hakuna utapata sanction so there are those things that the county will do and the national government must also do but what national government are we talking about na kindu kiemee bau moka tupigia kura tukashinda kura sasa ime dhihirika wazi kwamba Raila alishinda kura za urais tarehe 8 mwezi wa 8 sasa ike imesema wazi lakini wenzetu wanashikilia wakashikilia mpaka tukaenda kwa mahakama kuu uamuzi ukatolewa pale mimi nilikuwa pale throughout alafu IBC wakapatiwa muda kulingana na katiba kwamba kabla ya mwisho wa siku sitini kuwe na uchaguzi mwingine lakini hapo tena kwa sababu mwenye mamlaka anashikilia ataka kuachilia na hudi ugonjwa mkubwa wa Mwafrika akashikilia Robert Mugabe mpaka akatimuliwa pale na majeshi <laughs> majeshi majeshi ya nje ya Zimbabwe alifanya maajabu because they also are aware that in terms of African protocol the commission for African Union the, under the African Union Constitutive Act African governments have uh, delegitimized power capture through military coup d'etat na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa hivyo akafanya maajabu pale. Mugabe alikuwa amemfuta kazi vice president wake akakimbilia usalama South Africa. Majeshi kachukua <laughs> wakamwalika wakampata wakampasha uongozi. That was absolutely phenomenal. Watu wa Zimbabwe wakaona huyo mama Grace Marufu alikuwa amemshikilia mumewe 
kiasi kwamba hata mzee Robert Mugabe hawezi kuona mbele wala nyuma majeshi akaingilia what happened in zimbabwe was amazing sasa mmeona jana inje liberia mchezaji kandanda maarufu kachezea chelsea chezea wengine anaitwa wea george wea ameshinda out of 15 counties 12 na kwa sababu serikali ilikuwa na, nashikilia tu yao ilikuwa repeat lakini repeat ambayo ilisimamiwa na tume ya uchaguzi ambayo ilikuwa inajua kazi yake mpaka ameshinda Liberia wamevuka kama ni elani ngilo elatwa kila high jump wamevuka Africa is still coming of age kumbe you can actually defeat a candidate ambaye anaachua na mama Salif Johnson akashinda huyu akasema hajui kusoma sana sijui lakini ameshinda anapendwa na watu mtafanyaje bas hapa nyumbani I have been listening ingawaje nimekuwa na mgonjwa mefuata kila tamko almost trying to interrogate every thought I even follow closely conversations on WhatsApp or the groups so that I can follow na nijue ni kitu gani mafikira ya wananchi wa Kenya yako vipi na mimi natosheka kwamba wa Kenya wanajua ukweli mahali ulipo